Info Factory Track for LN. The receiving process in warehouse mobility. The receiving logic. When doing a receipt, the operator can receive by handling unit, lot number or serial number by entering these into the reference ID or by order type, Kanban ID or combinations of order number, item and position. There are certain options that are available while receiving depending on how the parameters have been set. The operator can change the receipt date, can enter a receipt series, can enter a packing slip reference, can choose that this receipt needs to be inspected, can enter the inventory date, or can select whether it is a final receipt or not. If the item being received is a lot number, the operator can scan in the supplier lot, the certificate of conformity, can manually enter a lot number, or can let LN generate the lot number for this receipt, or can use the new logic that is available in LN to allow multiple lots to be received at the same time by entering a lot size. In this case, the receipt was for 25, the lot size is for five, so this means that five lots would automatically be generated. Each of them would contain the same supply lot number and certificate of conformity if they had been entered. Similarly, if serial numbers are being received, the system can either generate the serial numbers for you or they can be manually scanned in. If they're manually scanned in, it's possible to reset the serial numbers if a mistake has been made or to view the ones that have already been scanned in. In this case, you can then select one of those and remove it if it had been scanned in in error. Cross-docking logic is also available. This will allow you to determine whether immediate cross-docking should be performed. In this case, it would receive the goods into a cross-dock location and automatically outbound them against an existing outbound requirement. We also have the logic to allow for an immediate put away. In this case, we will scan the actual locations the goods are being placed into. The receiving also supports label printing. If the goods being received were for a handling unit, we can enter the number of labels for the handling units we want to print. And we can also enter the number of content labels if we wish to print labels for the individual items in the handling unit. If the item being received was not part of a handling unit, then this form will be produced and the operator can enter a label combination to specify how many labels should be printed. In this case, the receipt was for a quantity of 100. We could say we want two labels of 50 each or four labels of 25 each or even three labels of 30 and one label of 10.